Cool though, this is one of the many fun things I like about Triplex, because you can just kind of iterate, change, see what things look like, move things around, it's quite fun. But one, one interesting thing you can do with Triplex is you can actually go into cameras. So I can click this and we're actually driving through it, which is pretty cool. So we get a nice little shadow going. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so for us to first explore this project and have some fun together, let's set up Triplex. So what we need to do is add a Triplex folder. So that's dot Triplex. And this is gonna be a manual uh, setup. So we have Triplex, we have a config, and then this schema tells us exactly what's available. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up all the components and files uh, that Triplex should care about. So since this project is not in TypeScript and just from a quick look, it looks like everything that we're interested in is gonna be in components. Let's just assume the components folder is where all the interesting things are. So we'll do this and replace that with JSX. We'll then also say files are the same thing. If you're wondering what the difference is, components is basically the config that tells Triplex this is going to be all the valid components I can add to a file. And then files is going to be all the entry point um, files that Triplex should consider valid things to open. In this point, uh, we'll, we won't really differentiate. We'll just say they're the same things. But you know, sometimes you'll have uh, potentially have ones that should be different. So all right, we have this basic thing. Let's open up Triplex, see what happens. All right, so we've got a, our first error. Uh, we need to use it with physics. So there exists this tool that we can use called provider controls where we can set up a provider component uh, similar to Storybook. So maybe uh, we can use that feature. So what we can do is create a provider component. And even though this, com even though this uh, project isn't using TypeScript, we can use TypeScript here because Triplex compiles your code for you. You'll also note that there's a TS config now because um, Triplex generates one if you don't have it already. So, okay, let's create a provider and we'll Say it's going to be there. And then this one needs to be a default export. So we'll do def export default uh, function provider. Ooh, thank you. And then what we'll do is we'll import physics from Rapier. And we'll just go there. Cool. And we also need to import React. Fine. Awesome. So we've got this set up. Um, we'll have to restart Triplex because it doesn't currently reload when you change the config. So now we open up and, ooh, look at this. We've got our scene that we can look around, uh, which is pretty cool. And we can see a lot of things. Ooh, there's a, um, I just pressed F to jump in and I've kind of gone off into no man's land. But if we go in here, we can see that this is the Paris biz component. Interesting, interesting. Okay, and what else is around that we can explore and have, have some fun? An item box, ooh, cool. So I wonder where this is in source code, let's go look. Um, item box. Okay, so it's here. And right now we don't have the ability to move it, which is unfortunate, but it does take props. So this is one of those fun things where since we're using JavaScript, we don't have all the information. So we need to teach it a little bit. So we can probably do this without uh, TypeScript maybe. Mm. Okay, so we're just using it for position. So then if we do this, what's gonna happen? Props is not defined. Ah, okay. We're back, baby! All right, um, and now, interestingly, we're able to transition it. Now, we're not able to do it through the UI because TypeScript still doesn't know about it, but since we have said that there's a position prop, we're now able to use it. So one thing I can do is I can duplicate this and then I can move it. Can't I? No? Come on. Oh, oh. oh. I know why. So since we have physics currently running, that's going to affect us being able to move things. Um, yes, yes. So what we can do is turn it off. So what we can do is we can use the provider component and we're able to add some extra props and they'll actually appear in the UI. So let's do our physics disabled and we'll default it to true. So we have our prop we're going to default it to true, and then we're going to say, so physics disabled, save it. Oop, physics, I can spell. Whoa, that was fun. So now we're disabling physics. So now potentially what we can do is move it. Okay, cool. So we're actually able to move it now because I've disabled the physics, which is fine. It's still a bit unexpected to be honest, but it's moving exactly where we wanted it to move. So that's pretty good. Um, we're able to move this other one as well. And then we can save, and then of course, we can go back to its usage, and we see that it's been updated, which is pretty neat. It isn't, 
updating its position when we move it though, so I'm going to imagine it's because of this. Um, when we're moving it, this is currently being um, uh, just updated every frame. So this is one of the things that Triplex doesn't currently handle well, which is pausing the scene. Um, that's a feature that will come in at a later date. So yeah, if we were, were actually like jumped in, you can see the components that are coming from Dre and React 3 Fiber are all very nicely typed, which is fantastic. Yeah. All right, what else can we do? I think I saw a camera, which is cool. So that camera's zooming around, but we're never gonna see it. Um, but one, one interesting thing you can do with Triplex is you can actually go into cameras. So I can click this and we're actually driving through it, which is pretty cool. So, so other cool features of Triplex, uh, we can actually jump into components. So for example, I click in and now I'm inside this gift component so we can iterate and change things and uh, you know understand what's going on so for kind of unexpected but we're able to move things so this is the actual background sphere fun so I'll just undo that and put it back to normal but uh what else I've got is that I don't know undo about this oh I've got I guess little houses so cool this must be all the um I guess deconstructed meshes um based off this map so we're able to see elements in the element panel but since this one is based on the network uh, we don't actually have any state so no, no bananas currently exist and I imagine shells probably the same yeah that's fine cool thing though is you can go in uh, to elements and then you're able to click through which is fun to that later if you're curious um, when you have elements that have code and generally they're not available to be edited by triplex so that's why you'll see that little warning prop is controlled by code so if i were to remove it for example uh, it would then come back with a different thing so a rigid body for example has this as code so if we go to rigid body we'll see the same thing yeah it's got a directional light that's cool if we wanted to we could also change this so for example right now it's got an intensity of one i have to wonder if it's doing anything oh yeah it was kind of uh, we'll give it a bluey, bluey light. Maybe we'll bump up the intensity. Ooh. We're gonna get way stronger shadows that way. Yeah. Although this is one of the many fun things I like about Triplex, because you can just kind of iterate, change, see what things look like, move things around. It's quite fun. If we did have all the props available, um, there's this other feature for uh, prop controls. But uh, yeah, since it doesn't really know what it is, it's just not gonna let us change it. But we could change it. Imagine uh, lever, the lever use case, and uh, how that would work. Maybe I can just update its source anyway. We can just change it to giant TSX for fun. Mm. Maybe I'll just make a, a copy and then convert it to TSX. So then I'll say position is a vector three tuple. Cool. Here we go. We've got the TypeScript one. So now since this is in TypeScript, we're going to have props that show up, which is pretty cool. So now, for example, I'm able to change, well, where it doesn't want to, oh, okay. Uh, right, so because that gets changed, I guess it doesn't want to, not sure. Anyway, X, Y, Z, so for some reason we can't change the Y, which I guess it's because it's being set by something else. But we are able to change the other ones. But yeah, imagine we can iterate on that, clear it, and then try again. Technically we could add some props if we wanted to, to make this faster. So again, imagine we want to uh, have some configurable things. So maybe rotation should be uh, by a prop. So we're able to kind of do that. So we get a lapse time and then I'm going to say we can just kind of multiply those. So we'll say it defaults to one. Oh, this one. Times rotation speed, times rotation speed. So now we've kind of wired it up, and then we can basically do that. It hasn't, it's not changing anything. Oh, it is actually. Oh, cool. No, funny. <laughs> but anyway, you can kind of imagine, uh, you know, being able to iterate on an individual component, and you can set the values as you need. That's pretty fun. I find it very useful. Yeah. Um, I wonder if we can get into player dummies. Player dummies. Oof, what does this mean? Um, okay, we're probably gonna have 
a little bit of difficulty because we're going to need a proper state object which we don't have but maybe we can find some other interesting things so yeah i mean at the end of the day triplex isn't magical um if some of your components have heavy data that you need to pass in for it to render like anything you know you're always going to have a difficult time rendering it in a sandbox so but mario is here so maybe let's go find mario there's a coin Mario. Ooh, cool look at that opened mario in his low poly glory that's pretty cool yeah if we wanted to we could technically add some lights so for example a point light could be fun and there you are you know we can move it around have some fun we'll just put him here make mario look a little bit evil and maybe cast a shadow as well so we get a nice little shadow going dun 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 <laughs> anyway cool so i mean that's a little bit of a, a taste of uh, what triplex has um you're also interestingly able to view it in different viewports as well so for example if we wanted to view it in a mobile view or a laptop view or a desktop view that's all possible um just as again little productivity things that you might find harder without but cool thank you for giving me some of your time hopefully you enjoyed that and yeah i'll see you in the next one and maybe give triplex a try triplex.dev the react 3 fiber visual ide cheers folks see you in the next one